Hi YouTube friends, welcome. Join me because today we're going to be making this ball and snake knot keychain. Starting at one side of your piece of paracord, feed out around about 30 centimeters or one foot, and then from that point, just form an overhand loop. And then next to that one, form another overhand loop. And then just cross those two over. The right one over the top of the left. Then grabbing the end of your piece of paracord, go down through that right section, up through the center, and then down through the left. You can pull that until it forms a loop here on the right. You want to take it over the strand that runs down the bottom and then with your working end go down through that right loop and then up through the gap next to it just so it runs alongside our initial strand that runs down here. And we can pull that through until it forms a loop here down the bottom. And then we want to follow our initial strand all the way through the knot again. So following along We'll go down through here move around down up down Keep following that strand around and make sure that the strands stay nice and parallel and don't get crossed up. So just keep following this around until you get to the other side. We're almost there. Now to finish this one off we want to dive down through that right loop and then we want to go up through the center here. So now we've doubled up the knot, we need to pull slack through the whole thing to tighten it up. So just start at one side and then working that strand, pull the slack through the knot, going from one end all the way through to the other end. So we'll work the slack through and then we'll come back. So once you've started to form this ball shape, what you want to do is just form a little knot like this. So the way I did that was just to come to the end, form an overhand loop, and then just form a simple knot. And then I cut and singed that one. And we're going to take that and just insert it into the center of our knot and then we can proceed to tighten this whole thing around that. Once you have your ball nice and tight, we can proceed to tie a couple of snake knots. So just bring your two ends together. And then starting here with the left strand, go over the right and then right around forming a loop around this strand here. 
then we just want to cross those two strands over. So I'm bringing that right strand under the left and then around and then down through that right loop. And then we can proceed to tighten this up and just try and get these two leg lengths around about equal. So just be a little bit careful how you tighten this first one up. Get it nice and tight and then we can tie another snake knot. So bring that left strand right around the right strand. Cross those two over and then take the left strand down through that right loop and then tighten this snake knot up against the first one. So I'm going to tie one more, take the left strand right around that right strand cross those two over and then bring that left strand down through the right loop and again tighten this up against the previous snake knot. So next we want to form a loop down here so I'm going to take that left strand and form a loop down the bottom here coming in underneath that right strand. I'm going to take that right strand around the back and then over to the front again. Then I'm going to switch strands and take this one down through that center loop. Now we can gently tighten these up. Just careful how you dress this. And then after you get it nice and tight and you get that nicely dressed against the rest of the snake knots, we can cut each end and singe them off with a lighter. So I've gone ahead and cut off the excess and I've also attached a split ring here at the top and when you cut the excess off just do your best to try and hide that cut piece at the bottom there and you should have your finished ball and snake knot key ring. If you like this kind of thing go ahead and hit the subscribe button because here we talk about all kinds of different knots. Thanks for watching, I like you all and I'll see you on the next video.